Hi viewers, welcome to Rupa's Fab Life. Recently we have visited a very sacred place. So about that place, I want to share to you. So we have visited with our family over there which is near to Vishakhapatnam. I think almost 70 kilometers away towards Rajamandri from Vishakhapatnam. So the place is called as Upmaka Venkateswara Swami Temple. So it is in Nakapalli. Friends, I want to share the temple's history which was really bliss to know about that. Even I was surprised that to know about this wonderful place. The temple was really really very very auspicious. So I want to share the history to you. So actually the temple's history is explained in the Brahma Vaivetra Puranam which is also known as Garuda Chala Mahatyam. According to Ramanuja, this Abhimanakshetram is one of the one out eight sacred Vaishnava Abhimanakshetrams. To the viewers yonder, the hill resembles the shape of Garuda. The Lord gives Bhaktakoti Darshan while seated on his horse alongside Lakshmi, the horse facing north. Underneath the hill is a temple dedicated to Sri Venugopala Swami. The sage Narada is said to have created the temple's Pratishta according to the temple's mythology. Because of the pervade of this location, Sri Venugopala Swami is well known. Swami affectionately refers to Upmak Kshetram as the place of Pavalimpu. In other words, it is the place of rest for the Lord. How fortunate Upmaka Kshetram is to be endowed with this. Lord Sri Krishna was also urged by Garuda to rest on his Sirasu indefinitely. To keep the word alive, the Lord descended on Upmaka villages Garuda Parvata. Shepherds who performed daily puja and naivetyam made the public aware of the existence of God. Sri Krishna Bhupaludu, king of Kanregula's Samsthanam in East Godavari district, constructed the temple in the 6th century AD. It is mentioned in the Kshetra Mahatyam. Let us see the rituals at Upmaka Venkateshwara Swami temple. So my dear friends, here are the details about the ritual performed at Upmaka Venkateswara Swami temple. Darshanam is open to all devotees from 6 am to 12.30 pm and again from 4 pm to 7.30 pm every day. From 7.30 am to 10.30 am and 4 pm to 6 pm temple on the hill is open. So every day they perform puja with Astotram and Sahasranamam. Adding on to the history of this blissful place, Sri Sriman Narayana Tridhani Peddajiyar Swami installed a Rama Stupam in 1964. His Stupam is one of India's 108 Rama Stupas. From the down temple to the top temple, there are 360 steps away from down to top, but the entrance is the same and exist is, is the same. Friends, we enjoyed visiting this place. We felt so blissful by visiting this place. Hope you enjoy this video.
hope you all visit this blissful place and get the blessings of sri venkateswara swami and venugopala swami friends this is really 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 very auspicious place and blissful place so don't waste your time do visit and have the blessings of that god with this i'm going to end this my small trip visit video hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe my channel rupa's fab life if you are a new viewer please subscribe like and share our videos to your friends and encouragers and thank you for encouraging with your appreciative support have a great day